There you go, man. We want that backward facing dog and you really just want to let it all loose. What's up guys and welcome back to Cosa Nostra, a game that's very similar to Hitman, except it entirely takes place inside of an Italian jam factory. That is strawberry jam. Okay, please don't take my ads. Unfortunately, I believe Don Rizzo has learned of our involvement in the death of Antonio and Chano, because my men are dropping like flots. Luca and Mr. Sicarelli used to work for me, but is now they are... boppity boopity capo regime for Don Rizzo. They have all the intelligence to make these hits happen, so they must be taken care of. When Michael's throwing a party at the Lux Hotel in his penthouse for his crew, friends, and family. His crew is extensive, so you'll be able to blend in easily. However, getting close to him will be an even bigger challenge. His bodyguards won't let anybody near. Luca, however, keeps to himself and probably all alone. Good luck, Don Carbone. Finally, no more hobos, no more hillbillies, no more pizzerias. Right, we're moving up in the world. We get to go to a private penthouse party and blend in like a chameleon among all of the motionless, silent, nearly identical guests. Was it awkward when you left the house this morning and realized that he was wearing the exact same thing as you? Like, he refused to change, so now you're giving him the cold shoulder at the party? I, I feel for you, dude, but I just can't concern myself with these petty fights, okay? I need to find Michael, and I need to find Luca. I think one of them should be somewhere else alone, so that'll probably be easy. The hard one will be whoever's in the crowd. Not really sure how I'm gonna murder somebody in the middle of a crowded room without getting gunned down myself, but we'll figure it out, right? Maybe we can just schmooze with the guests a little bit? Take a look around, ask some questions, snap some necks? Listen, I'm not looking to assume anybody's gender, but I really doubt you're Michael or Luca, so why would I want to snap your neck? Other than the fact that the animation is hilarious. Really? Uh, okay. <laughs> I take it back. I guess I could do whatever I want in the middle of a crowded room and nobody will be the wiser. Sorry, sir, but I need to... <laughs> I need to do this to your wife. I thought I was gonna get him. Oh, wait. I can't even do that to the dudes. I can only do it to the women. Why? <laughs> this game doesn't make any sense. Sir, maybe I can freshen your drink, offer you an hors d'oeuvre, maybe take that gun away from you. I really recommend the hors d'oeuvres though, okay? We currently have a uh, crack <laughs> Why do you have a gun if you're not gonna do anything? <laughs> okay, so I can definitely whittle down the party a little bit. There's a whole lot more party goers for me to get to. Oh, oh, oh. She must have been special. I was gonna ask this guy who the lady in white is and why she's so important, but he looks like he is just right out of his mind. Part-time hotel workers, man. Can you really blame them? I don't think I want to go back in there. I get the feeling that they are going to be a little bit testy this time around, so maybe I'll just explore the rest of the hotel? Or not? Uh, yeah, still can't really ask you any questions, can I? But I'm not really getting the layout. Back to the party we go, then. So, do I just not approach the lady in white? Is that the trick? What about this one over here? Can uh, I introduce myself to you? Yep. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so no, no, hey, 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 hey. Didn't want to have a conversation. I probably should have guessed that there aren't that many conversationalists at this party. Right? I could give people severe spinal injuries, not a problem, but as soon as I start a discussion, that's when I stand out. So maybe we can retire to another room and see if Michael or Luca are somewhere back here by themselves, where my neck snapping powers may come in handy. Hey Luca, you want to see a magic trick? 
check this out. I can crouch so low that my chin and my feet can touch the ground at the same time. Freaky, right? Now I need you to do a trick for me, okay? I need your best rendition of the YMCA dance. Go ahead. It's just a Y, Luca. I, I, I need an M, a C, and an A. You think you could, uh... No, that's the Harlem Shake. That's it's a completely different... <laughs> Stupid old men, they never know the memes. We have some kind of secret exit ventilation shaft that I can use to get away from the body, but I'm really curious what's behind door number two. More doors. Ooh, okay, what's behind door number three? A love den. Nice. Okay, so maybe if I don't cripple them, I can uh, bring them in here? <laughs> I guess we'll see. And oh, 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 okay. Hi, hi, how are you? What is this that you're guarding? Gas levels? Let's put that on high. Hi, 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 hi. Now there's really no way of telling whether or not that guy was upset with me because I was poking around where I shouldn't be or because he just has a really crappy job guarding a valve in a closet all day or maybe because I snapped this guy in half. But I'm going to do that again anyway because I really can't get enough <laughs> of that stupid death animation. <laughs> now, to introduce ourselves once again, except for this time, we're going to do things just a little differently. Right, just a touch. There we go. <laughs> Gas is on high, door is closed, and nobody is welcome in my rage cage. I'm hearing a lot of... Burning and screaming that definitely wasn't part of the party a moment ago. <laughs> Maybe we should investigate? Oh. Oh. Did I do that? <laughs> Did I kill everybody? Oh yeah, the other target's down. Okay, mission accomplished. That's how you do it. Oh, right. I'm allergic to peanut butter, penicillin, and fire. Hold on now. I feel like we're definitely onto something. <laughs> that is probably what the secret ventilation shaft is for. If I just peg you again, open that, and wait a second or two. Explosion. Everybody dies. Now we make our escape over here. Oh, yep. I'm definitely losing health. Is it safer in here? Nope, still burning to death. That's a problem, and we're dead. <laughs> Is it just a trap? I, I can kill everybody, including myself. You haven't seen a fire extinguisher around here, have you, Luca? Maybe have any idea where that vent goes? No? Okay, you're useless. You can just <laughs> flop around on the floor. Let's see if this will lead me to Michael. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Like if I open the door and walk back out into the party and people see him Harlem shaking on the floor, then they would probably get pretty upset. But imagine he's not exactly just some random floozy at the party like all the other ones that have done that too. <laughs> Maybe this will lead me somewhere important. Michael, where are you? Ooh, okay. Um. Huh. Oh. Uh, that has to be him, right? Probably. Uh. Can I? Really? Why do you have such strong, burly necks? I would be willing to bet good money that these guards don't understand how vents work. And if this guy's head explodes, they're gonna go downstairs to see who in the crowd did it. Just watch. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, now we slip away. Oh, 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 what, what, what? No, no, they're shooting in the vent. Are you kidding me? Don never mentioned anything about you guys having wall hacks. That's super uncool, but uh, if I could take a couple out here, then I guess I will, and then we're gonna have to be fast, right? We can't just hide in here forever. <laughs> They're gonna either fill it with gas or bullets, one of the two, but maybe I can outsmart them yet? Right, I'm willing to bet that they'll just kind of flood on past. Hey guys, hey, 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 oh, oh, okay. They, they don't seem to fully understand yet, but hey, 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 hey. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> this is going better than I could have hoped for. No, no. That's got to be all of them, right? Surely that's all of them. Nope, 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 nope. Not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> is that all of them? Any more stragglers? No? Great. Now I can just run around doing what I please. Right? Here we go. <laughs> Am I sadistic? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe just a little bit. No witnesses. 
Who is screaming right now? There should be no more screaming, okay? There's only Captain Sauce's chiropractic and yoga service, and what the hell is going on over there? There you go, man. We want that backward-facing dog, and you really just want to let it all loose. Don't mind the stains on the walls, okay? That's just on brand. Like I said, it's a Captain Sauce thing, so you gotta have sauce all over the walls. I heard about those men sent after you. You couldn't actually show the level because it had copyrighted music, but it was pretty much a bunch of fedora-wearing schmucks that got introduced to Betsy. Freaking Rizzo's guys, he really is coming after us. The commission doesn't understand it. We need to teach him a lesson. Obviously, he doesn't care about his family, but his biological one, he cares a lot for them. The only direct family member he has is his son, Philip. Philip, as far as we know, doesn't operate with the Mafia. However, the distillery he owns is protected by his father, so getting to him will be tough. Good luck, Don Carbone. Sounds easy enough, right? Just one target in some kind of family-run mafia distillery with a bunch more fedora-wearing schmucks and a bulletproof, soundproof gate. <laughs> okay, good to know. Uh, I guess we'll just try to find our way in. Right? I don't really know all that much about distilleries, but I do know that we need to get over this wall, and usually to do that, you would use a door. And I also know that uh, this is probably a very lazy employee, right? He's been drinking the wine, he got it on his lap, he got it all over his face, and now he's passed out and he should be working. That's the only explanation, right? You would never find a body, nonetheless two bodies in a distillery. This is actually kind of awesome, right? The sun is out, the birds are chirping, and I have a great vantage point to not be able to snipe anybody because my sniper rifle has the range of a wet noodle. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, Andy sees me. Isn't that just great? Can you shoot through the fence? Now would be a great time to test that. Yeah, bring it on over here, bud. Uh, oh, oh, what? You can walk through? What? I didn't expect a person to be able to squeeze through those bars, okay? I, I know it looks like somebody could, but if a bullet can't, then why would a person be able to? It just doesn't make any sense. But if that's the case, then I don't need to be up here, right? I don't need to jump over the wall through this window, and I don't want to stand in the window or else I'm going to be seen. So we might as well just walk clean through the gate. Can I walk through the gate, or is it only them? Oh, the gate's open! Oh, that makes a little bit more sense. Depth perception was not all there. Can I hit you from here? Nope, I can alert you, though. Uh, what? That, that, how, how does that make it? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe I am hitting these guys, and they're like some kind of fedora-wearing super soldiers, or maybe I just have the tickle bullets loaded, and when I use the real big boy bullets, then things seem to go my way. There we go! Okay, now we're getting somewhere. There's definitely more of them. Oh, yep, there's some down there. Guessing if I uh, do this... Nope, that was a tickler. It's kind of obnoxious that I have to feel out the distance ever so slightly by taking a shot and then stepping towards them. See, that was a miss. Couple steps forward. That was a miss. Couple steps forward. There we go. That's the effect we're looking for. <laughs> Should have invested in bulletproof hats, you idiots. <laughs> now, where would the target be? Right, he should be somewhere in here, I would imagine. With probably a bunch more guards. Oh, oh, hi. How are you doing? Not good. So I've been cowering behind these crates for a few minutes now because I am super paranoid that there are other people coming in behind me if I go further into the distillery. And I've already caught two more of them. They don't realize that there are dead bodies strewn about. They're not that smart, but they are around. So I might do like a lap of the outside before I go further in. I just know that there's going to be more of them hanging around, waiting for something to go down and then screwing me. Oh, you were guarding something, weren't you, sassy girl? Well, maybe we'll take that inside instead. Check to see if there's anybody around back. No? Okay, I think the outside is now clear. So where exactly does this lead to? Anything interesting? Ooh. Some movement. Movement may be good, maybe bad. 
I just want to pick off my target. If I could just shoot him in the ankles, I'd be really happy. No, no. What, what, what? Three shots. Square in the head. Doesn't do anything. All of his shots, I'm just, I'm just riddled. After having tried this about 50 times now, I think I have an idea. And it might come off as a little bit inconvenient, but we're gonna kneecap this guy and have him scream for help. And then when help comes, we're just gonna kneecap all of them. Right? There's no door. They can't possibly get in here. I'm tired of fighting fair. Come on, you stupid fedora wearing sissies. <laughs> Bring it on. No, no, no. You can't shoot through walls. That's cheating. Okay, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Cosa Nostra, guys, because I cannot beat this level. I've been playing for like two and a half hours. I am ready to go insane. But fortunately, I think contracts really are coming soon. The developer said that maybe sometime next week. So if you guys are interested in seeing whatever that is, because I kind of figured I was already doing contracts already, be sure to leave a like on the video, let me know, maybe I'll return for more soon. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.